Lots of people like to claim that when anyone complains about the current state of pop music, that they're just like old people saying, Get off my lawn! That it's people who are close-minded to new sounds. Well, I'm going to have to beg to differ on that. Even when I look all the way back to the 1940s, I find that there is a tenfold more variance in pop music than we have now. Even in the 1990s, we had a lot more variance. If one judges music on the style itself and not the production methods, there is nothing that gets regular play on the radio that has been made over the past ten years that isn't something we heard in a specific narrow genre of music in the late 1970s. Again, I'm talking about a genre, not the way something is produced. Then the 1980s happened, and as there were a number of styles that were danceable, there were a lot of variations in styles. Some of the most, what people are calling, groundbreaking songs I've heard in the past couple years were simply borrowing from a sound from the early to mid-1980s. That's not groundbreaking, and yet, for how little variation we've had lately, and for people who didn't live through the 80s, it is considered groundbreaking. Not only do we have fewer styles now, but we have fewer chord progressions now. We have fewer time signatures. We have a complete and utter lack of variance. And why is this? And the same can be said when it comes to movies. We seem to care more about production values than we do actual content anymore. Is this because that's what society wants? Is this because companies have refined what sells more? Is this because people are taking less chances? Is this an overall problem happening within our culture? Are we becoming less creative? Do we care more about what makes money than what is actual quality? So to go back to my original statement, people seem to be under the impression that when anyone complains about this sort of thing, that they're just being the get-off-my-lawn types of people who pine for their youth. But I don't think that's what it is at all. I think we've become more mundane. And instead of taking advantage of the new technology we have, we're instead just taking it for granted and expecting new ideas to appear out of thin air. Instead of actually creating new things, we're trying to destroy old things. It's why I get irritated at remixes of old songs where everything that made the old songs what they were is completely removed. It'd be like if instead of looking at the 1960s as a representation of how we thought back then, if we just took the fashions, styles, words and phrases, and other things that were dependent on the way we thought back then, and looked at them through today's eyes and basically just viewed all of those things as simply dated and looked at them as not worthy of any consideration. One thing we don't do this to are cars. Imagine looking at a car from the 1950s and saying, well, that's so dated, let's update it, and then replacing almost everything on it with something from today. New style wheels, new style tires, new types of steering wheels, new types of seats, new types of bumpers, new types of engines, a new dash, almost anything that could feasibly be replaced with something modern would be replaced, and then claiming that the vehicle is not so boring and dated now. If most people saw that updated car, they'd think, well, why don't they just buy a new car if they're going to do that? And yet with music, this sort of thing is totally acceptable. I guess I'll never fully understand it, With music, we can create new things, new sounds, new styles, different timings, different dance rhythms, different non-dance rhythms, different progressions. But instead, we just have new, narrow production methods and put those production methods on top of everything we get our hands on. Oh, look, it's modern and fresh. Yes, as fresh as the preservative-filled lettuce at Subway. Oh, well. Get off my lawn.